Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I thought we'd do today is follow up on our video from last month, which was moving objects with simple machines. We talked about moving objects up and down or vertical in that video. We talked about the ability to move things horizontally as well using some of those tools. What I want to do in part two of this video is use a couple different tools to move objects horizontally and show you that today as well. And then we'll follow up with a part three next month. So stay with me and we'll get started. Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of telephone pole for our demonstration. Probably only weighs about 100, 110 pounds. So it's not something that you couldn't actually move by hand if you absolutely had to or drag very easily if you absolutely had to as well. The point of this is to show you ways that you can move this material without having to physically drag the material and use machines and leverage to assist you in moving that object. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to use a couple simple knots to put together a mechanism that we can lift this up and pull it forward. And so we're going to need a bipod, which we'll make with two long timbers, six, seven feet long, that are green or at least hard wood that aren't going to break under tension. And then we'll use a piece of rope and we'll tie a timber hitch with one half hitch on this rope. We'll tie that to our bipod and we'll use that mechanism or that lever and fulcrum to gain mechanical advantage and lift this material up and drag it forward. So we've taken two poles here, approximately two, two and a half inches in diameter, and we have tied an articulating bipod lash on here. And by articulating, I mean that we have actually frapped this so that it can move back and forth fairly freely with the frappings in between the two poles. We use this bipod, which is about seven feet long, to move this object. So once we've tied our bipod lash, and you can find these lashings in lots of my videos in the rope clinic series, we're going to take this material and a larger piece of rope and tie onto this and to this bipod to move the object. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna tie a timber hitch on this log. So we're just going to get the rope under the log and then we're going to go down about one third of the material and we're going to come around the back side of that rope. Now, it's important that we go over the top of this rope at this point and not underneath the rope at this point. So we go over the top of the rope. We wrap around the rope five times is generally enough. Just wrapping down the rope. Just like this. And the friction of this rope will hold when it's under tension like this, and this is called a timber hitch. Now, you can also take this and you can put another half hitch or two up this log to give you a little bit more of a less rolling effect on the log, and it also helps to guide the material. So we're just gonna turn one half hitch in this, pull this up, come up to the front of the log just like this, and this will be our pulling point. That also puts this knot under less tension and gives you less chance of anything slipping here because most of your tension is going to be here and here at that point. So this is a very good way to use a timber hitch is to come up and half hitch at least once, if not two times in front of that. Now I've just brought a loop of line or a bite of line up through the middle of this bipod and I've raised this bipod. I've pushed it up the log to give myself some standoff in the end. And I'm just going to come around the bottom of this and wrap around my bipod and loop it over the top. And what that's going to do is it's gonna tighten this down so that this becomes my pulling line. Okay, so now we have the rope coming from the center of the bipod and we have the timber hitch tied with a half hitch in front of it. It's loose right now. It will tighten up when these bipod legs are lifted becoming levers to lift this log off the ground and move it forward. So as Luciano pulls back, these will become levers to move the weight. Okay, Luciano, pull. Now you can go to the middle, Luciano. Okay, so you can see Luciano's not straining at all. He's just holding the bipod in place so it doesn't fall forward or backwards. And now the log is suspended off the ground being held by the timber hitch and the half hitch. And now we can decide to either move it all the way forward and reset and pull it further. And if we only have to pull it a short distance, maybe that's the way we would go. If we wanna move this a longer distance, maybe at this point we take advantage of rollers or axles 
we take four logs and put them underneath while it's suspended and then drop it down on the rollers to move it from there. Okay, so now we're gonna take four logs or rollers. We're gonna place them underneath the weight while it's suspended. As it drops down, it will go onto the rollers and we can take the rope off and we can then move the weight on an axle, which is just a simple piece of wood. So we'll put one right here in the middle. And then as Luciano pulls forward, we'll feed more in. Go ahead, Luciano. Now we have two rollers in place. We've got enough room to slide one in the middle. And now we have two rollers in place underneath this log. We can slide another one in and we can remove the rope, straighten up the rollers, and we can start to move this by replacing the rollers as we go forward. So what we'll do first is we'll remove this from the log. That's the beauty of the timber hitch is, no matter how much tension you put it under, it comes undone very, very easily. And now we can move our bipod out of the way and begin to replace these rollers as we're rolling forward. Okay, so we've now moved our log horizontally across the ground. But at this point, we want to reposition that log perpendicular. In other words, instead of rolling it horizontal this direction, we want to go perpendicular this direction. To do that and reposition, we're going to use a par buckling device, which means we're going to take some solid object in a distance. It could be a stake that we put in the ground. It could be a log that's standing up like a dead stump like this, or it could be a tree that's still standing, something that is strong enough to hold the rope and support the weight that we're going to pull against it. Then we're going to take the two tails of the rope and we're going to wrap them around the log. Keeping the tail to the inside on both sides, this is called parbuckling the log. Now once we have both of our lines pulled together, if we want to, we can put a toggle in those lines by collecting them together and putting a marlin spike hitch in the line. Now we have a toggle that we can pull, and as we pull, we will draw the log up as an axle to the location we wanna go. And it could be uphill again, it doesn't matter, it's going to work the same way. Okay, guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me today for this quick video on how to use three simple machines to move objects. Again, we talked about all horizontal movements here, where we talked about vertical in part one. However, some of those vertical movements, like the flip-flop winch, things like that, can be used horizontally as well. But this gives you three other options to use to move objects horizontally. And remember that if you can't lift the object to begin with, as you saw, we tied a timber hitch around that log. If we couldn't get that log suspended to tie that rope on it, dig underneath it if you have to to get that rope fed through, tie your timber hitch on and go. And at that point, once you lever it up, you now have it lifted in a position where you can put things underneath if you need to. I appreciate your views and I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.